Hello everyone and welcome to our latest episode of the Meet the Academy Players series. Last week we spoke to Anthony Papadopoulos and this week we're chatting to our man between the sticks, Sean Campbell. So Sean, we're in a, obviously in a lockdown, so how are you and how's your family keeping? Oh, we're all good, thanks for asking. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty well, thank you. Um, obviously the whole part of this series is we want to get to know people like you a lot better. So um, could you tell us a little bit about your um, footballing background and uh, when you joined Leighton Orient? I started playing football when I got into secondary school. Um, I used to play Sunday League in year seven, then I joined Millwall in year eight. I was at Millwall till end of year nine, and then I got released and I came to Orient straight afterwards. So I've been at Orient Academy since I was about under 15, and, and then I got a scholarship in at the end of 2018, and that was my second year as a scholar. So what made you, what made you uh, decide to be a goalkeeper? Because obviously I think back in the day, uh, it's probably the yeah. last position everyone wants to go in. So, what made you want to go and go? I just always like diving around, in it? So, I, f- I found it quite amusing. When did you realise that you was uh, pretty good with your hands and can make it sort of as a goalkeeper? I think when I signed for... Um, actually, no. Before I signed for Millwall, I was on trial at Fulham. And that's when I really started to realise that if I took it seriously, I could go somewhere with football. So, yeah. I think that's when I really started to realise that. Yeah, unfortunately, you're injured at the moment. But um, yeah, how did you actually get injured, and when can we expect, uh, expect to see you on the pitch? Um, I got injured against MK Dons about a month ago. Um, yeah, they've just played a ball in, and I've come for it. I've headed it clear because we're outside the box, and I've just gone through it. Um, MK Dons' striker. Um, yeah, so I got a dead leg from that, but I played on on it, and it's just been a really bad dead leg, a lot of bruising. In the, in the quad muscle, so I've been out for about a month, but I've started training again, doing bits with the team, so hopefully in a week or two I should be back. Obviously, yeah, getting back on the pitch is your main goal, but I think something that yeah. probably myself and the fans want to know is, uh, if you had to model yourself on a goalkeeper who you think is best resembles your playing style, who would it be? i say on right now, I'd say Andre Onana from Ajax, I think. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I like to play a lot of my feet when I can. I also think I'm quite a, a brave goalkeeper in terms of like being positive. And um, yeah, he's just someone that um, inspires me a lot. I look a lot at his games, study his game a lot. So I'd, I'd say that's a keeper that um, I think I could model myself around. Yeah. Uh, Arthur Janata is uh, somebody that's kind of followed in your foot. Well, he followed probably in his footsteps. Um, yeah. And obviously he's come through the academy and now he's actually a goalkeeping coach with Leighton Norris Academy. How much yeah. has he helped you with your progress? Um, a lot. Even when he was a player, um, last season he was um, a pro here. And um, even just like, because obviously we train together, like, just helping me during training sessions, giving me advice, things I should work on. Um, and obviously someone that I've worked closely with for the past year and a bit now. So even before he took the coaching role, he was already somewhat a coach in the sense that he was always advising me. Um, and so on and that since he's taken the coaching role um, he's done a lot to help not just me but the other goalkeepers like Reese and then the younger keepers in the in the academy as well so yeah I think he's been a really good um, coach for us and I think he's got a lot to offer us as well Obviously now you're a second year scholar and many of your uh, people in your year group such as Anthony Papadopoulos and Jane Young have yeah. recently gone out on loan is that something that you want to do in the near future? Yeah 100% I think that under 18s football is is good. I mean, especially when you're 16 and when you're first year. But by your second year, and obviously if you get off for the third year, so you want to go out and play men's football because at the end of the day, the goal is to get into the first team, and that is men's football. So it's good to get a taste for it as early as possible, in my opinion. So you've obviously been with Leighton Orient for a couple of years now. Well, obviously what mm. I want to know, and again what the fans probably want to know, is what is your uh, goal with Leighton Orient, and do you have anything set in mind of what you want to achieve? Hopefully to get a professional contract and be a part of the first team squad and help the squad push for um, their goals, hopefully promotion in the next few years. So, yeah, that's my goal. But um, ultimately, it's just to be a professional footballer. That's that's what I've set my mind towards since I started to play football and one day I hope to achieve. Thank you, Sean, for joining us. Uh, the under-18s are next in action on Saturday mornings. They take on QPR in a friendly. If you want to keep up to date with the uh, Academy's progress, make sure you follow at LOFC Academy on the club's Twitter. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you soon.